case study, spontaneous oily stains on the picture of H.H. Bakhtaraj Maharaj SSRF publishes these case studies with the intention of providing some direction to our readers with regard to problems that manifest at a physical or psychological level, but which can have their root cause in the spiritual dimension. When the root cause of a problem is spiritual in nature we have observed that the inclusion of spiritual healing remedies generally gives the best results. SSRF advises continuation of conventional medical treatment along with spiritual healing remedies for the treatment of physical and psychiatric illnesses. Readers are advised to take up any spiritual healing remedy at their own discretion. Note, to understand the background behind this case study and why these phenomena have been taking place, especially with regard to SSRF, please read, An Introduction to Horrifying Supernatural Phenomena. Mr. Ram Honap began spiritual practice in the year 2000. His entire family, father, mother and sister also practice spirituality under the guidance of His Holiness Dr. Jayant Athavale. From the beginning, Ram was diagnosed by the subtle department of SSRF to have been suffering from distress due to negative energies. As he began to be more regular in his spiritual practice and take on more and more satsava, such as putting up book stalls, distribution of spiritual journals, etc., he found that the distress only began to increase. It included the following problems, he would not be able to study at all. He would feel sleepy all the time, would not have the energy to lift his hands, would lie on the bed for hours without being able to move. His mind becoming blank and not being able to recall anything that he had read at all. Such types of distress continued despite him augmenting his spiritual practice with spiritual remedies like lighting incense sticks, blowing holy ash, etc. He would experience constant subtle pressure in his room. Negative energies, at the Spiritual Science Research Foundation, we use the term, negative energies, as a collective noun to represent all types of entities in the spiritual dimension that intend to harm humanity right from the common ghost to the highest level, mantrix. If the spiritual strength of a common ghost is between 1 and 10 units, then a mantric strength ranges from a billion to close to infinity. In 2003, Mr. Chanda Dixit, a devotee of H. H. Bhaktaraj Maharaj came to visit Ram's family. His wife Mrs. Shabangi Dixit gifted Ram with a picture, that was already in a picture frame, of H. H. Bhaktaraj Maharaj. It was an uncommon picture that Ram had not seen before and it showed H.H. Bhaktaraj Maharaj holding a stick. Ram was elated to have the photo. He placed it on his study table and would pray constantly to Baba a name that seekers fondly called H.H. Bhaktaraj Maharaj, for spiritual healing to occur on him. When praying or gazing at the picture, Ram's attention would invariably get drawn to the stick which Baba was holding in the picture. Every time this would happen Ram perceived that the mantric, the subtle sorcerer, possessing him would get very intimidated and fearful. Ram perceived that Baba was doing spiritual healing on him through the subtle and that the mantric was getting beaten with the stick which Baba was holding. Ram perceived both destroyer, Merrick, and savior, Tarak, frequencies emanating from the picture, which were providing a protective spiritual covering around him. 
The Subtle Perception Department is a section of the SSRF consisting of seekers who can perceive the subtle dimension, draw pictures of the subtle world subtle pictures, and administer spiritual remedies. Some of the seekers from this department